Hello, and welcome to 3Play Media. I'd like to tell you about how our transcription and captioning solutions can help you get the most out of your media. Our story begins at MIT. Charged with the task of finding a lecture captioning solution, we discovered that traditional methods were cost prohibitive, while computerized methods were nowhere near adequate. By combining automatic speech recognition with human cleanup, we developed a new process to deliver near-perfect accuracy at extremely competitive prices. We then built powerful tools to streamline workflows and integrate with existing platforms. Unlike a traditional transcript, our transcripts are time-synchronized word-to-word. -word. This allows you to add closed captioning to your video and allows users to interact with your media through a plugin like the one you see next to this video. Notice that the transcript is active, and you can click on any word to jump to a different point in the video. You can also search within the video or across an entire library. Now, let's take a look at some of our work. Secretary Duncan, what's the role of parents within uh, a child's education? Dr. Holgren, how do we engage parents and the general public more in the practice of science? I'll start and turn it over yeah. to you. It's so critically important that parents be actively engaged and as much as we want to dramatically improve the quality of what's going on within schools, parents are always going to be our students' first teachers and they're always going to be our most important teachers. Now here's a clip from a classroom setting. So as a refinement uh, to this approach, um, hierarchical topologies are being proposed. So now you identify a subset of peers in the network presumably those that are more stable, that have higher capabilities and higher bandwidths, to serve as uh, neighborhood indes in indices. Notice that this video contains difficult content that is spoken with an accent, yet the accuracy and time synchronization are still precise. In this video, from Adafruit Industries, demonstrates our ability to handle highly technical content. So I've got all my tools set up here. I've got my multimeter, my trusty multimeter, which will be used for testing the circuit. The second part of the circuit that we're going to build is the oscillator section. That's the part that generates the 3.57 megahertz signal that's sent to the SIM card. That lets it run at the correct baud rate. Thank you for watching this video. We invite you to look through our website and please email or call us if you have any questions about our products or services.